Siargao Island is now a booming tourist destination in the Philippines due to its natural beauty and several international surfing competitions. No doubt that local and international tourists are flocking into the island. And it made easy for all tourists as there are several direct flights coming from the capital Manila as well as from Clark, Cebu, and Davao. Well, there are some other travelers whom seem to be conventional in visiting the island as the air tickets are much more expensive as it may go up as high as 5,000 pesos one-way ticket. So if you are a budget traveler, this alternative way may solve your problem and you will explore more beautiful places along your way. Kamusta mga kalakotseros? This video is based on the itinerary that I made during a recent travel to Siargao. Not the convenient way but the most budget friendly and more extra as we were able to visit some other places along our way to Siargao Island. However, if you are on a time constraint on your travel, this may not be applicable to you as it requires 5 to 7 days. We flew from Manila to Tacloban and we were able to book our airline tickets on a promo fare. From Tacloban Airport, proceed to Van Van's Terminal and ride a van bound to Palompon Leyte and have a side trip to Kalangaman Island. Just make sure that you go there with the good weather as the Coast Guard will not allow you to go to the island should there's a gale warning. Unfortunately, they won't allow us to sail as you can see in this footage that the weather is somehow terrible. Instead, we head over to Hinunangan Southern Leyte. In Hinunangan, there are two islands the San Pedro and San Pablo Islands. From the mainland of Hinunangan, there are several public motorized boats from Barangay Canipaan to the islands for only 50 pesos. San Pablo is the most famous of the two. Cottage rates start from 200 pesos. Spare this day for your travel to Siargao Island. From Hinunangan, proceed to Liluan or San Ricardo Southern Leyte for a ferry boat ride to Surigao and there are several trips as early as 6 a.m. From Lipata Port in Surigao, take a tricycle to Port of Siargao where you hop on for another ferry boat going to Dapa in Siargao. All in all, you need to spare 10 to 12 hours before you reach Siargao. For detailed travel guide in Siargao and must visit places, watch my previous travel guide, link in the description box. Rent a motorcycle and have a land tour around the circumferential road of the island. And these are the places that you can visit via motorcycle. Coconut View Deck, Maasan Enchanted River, Magpupungko Beach, Cloud 9, and some others. Day 5. Island Hopping you can visit as many as 6 to 8 islands for this activity. Again, rates and detailed itinerary is included in my Shargao Island Travel Guide. These are the islands that you can visit Naked Island, Daku Island, Guyam Island, Mamon Island, Anahawan Island, Sayungan Island, Lahanusa Island, and Corridor Island. Continue exploring Shargao Island, such as shopping for souvenirs, Visit Shaka Cafe for some refreshment. Ma 
Mama's Grill for delicious grilled foods. Isla Mercato for a wide variety of food choices and some others. Prepare for your trip back to reality and bring those memories along with you and for sure it will last a lifetime. That's all for now mga kalakwacheros. For more travel guide, click the link above and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell to be notified on our next Tlakwacha. And remember to always be a responsible traveler. Travel code for this video. If you are waiting for someone to travel with you, you may end up waiting a lifetime. Go explore the Philippines and the world. Thank you.